Okay, before we begin actually making our text type and stuff out, I want to clean this code up a little bit because right now it's a little bit messy to look at. So let's just add some comments. We're gonna comment this. This is gonna be our hide buttons. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. Um, this right here sets our speaker's name and visibility. So let's straighten this connection. Comment. This is gonna be set speaker name and visibility. I believe all this over here is showing our options. Comment show options. And let's move this down a little bit. I also want to, instead of having the sequence over here, be just a node of off event construct. I want it to be its own, uh, what's it called, event, because I don't want all these wires running into it from below it. So let's move these down and right click we're gonna make a make custom sorry custom even add custom event that's what it's called we're gonna call this um, update text so whenever we want to update text then we would do everything in this sequence so let's break the link to this is valid and instead do update text text. Same down here where we click to continue, off is true, we would instead update text and break the link. And off these as well, update text. These can both go to the same node and break this link. Now, there's aren't the, now there aren't all these wires just running around all over the place for no reason. Comment this, this is going to be choose option. And I'm not, I'm not going to comment this yet because we're going to be modifying it slightly in this uh, part of the series. So, and we're definitely going to be modifying this where we set our text. Instead of having the sequence just go like this, there's, um, we're actually going to be branching in this function, so we don't want this going straight to our set to speaker name and visibility. So instead I'm going to add a pin, and 3 is now instead going to go to our show uh, options, our 2 is going to go to set our text, and our 1 is going to be our speaker name and visibility, and we're going to break links from our set text. Let's move this out of the way so we have more room to work with. Now. What do we want when we want to set our text? Well, well, what do we want to know? First, we need to know what our text speed is, how fast we're going to be setting our text or updating our text. So, text speed, and we'll make this a float. And the smaller this float is, the faster it's going to be. Just so you know, we're also going to need some strings. This is going to be our current text, and we'll make this type of string instead of. Um, text and the reason for that is because we can't actually modify our text at all. We can't append or split it or anything. We're going to need to do that with a string. So in order to make our text type itself out, we're going to have to convert this to a string anyways, and then we're going to convert it back to a text. So we might as well make this a text. All right, and we're also going to need a string called consumed text. This is just going to be text we're going to be eating up to add to our current text. So as our consume text gets smaller, our current text gets bigger. So when we set our text, instead we want to branch based off our text speed. So if our text speed is nearly equal to zero, meaning we have instant type speed, then we're just going to do this. We're just going to set our text to be our get active no text whatever. That's fine. Otherwise what we're going to do is we're going to set our current text to be nothing and we're going to set our consumed text to be the active no text. We're also going to set our where the dialog text we're going to set its text to be nothing as well.
And after that, we're just going to start typing after a few seconds, or a few milliseconds. So how are we going to do that? Well, we need to do a delay node. Delay. This is going to wait a certain duration in seconds, or yeah, length in seconds. And that's going to be our text speed, how long we're going to be waiting. After we finish waiting, what we're going to do is we're going to get our, we're going to set our current text to be our current text appended with, append just means add, um, appended with our consumed text at its first um, character. So to do that, we can get, uh, shoot. How do we want to do this? We could get substring, start index with a length of 1. That'll give us the first character, sure. I want to set that as our current text. Set our. Get our. Or sorry, don't set our dialog text. Get our dialog text and set its text to be our current text. And we need to make sure our consumed text knows it doesn't have that um, first character anymore. So set our consumed text to be our consumed text, um, what is it, right chop, count of one. What right chop does, I believe, is it takes uh, all of our, here, get rid of this. It takes all of our characters except for the ones to the left of the count starting at the beginning um, and it gets, returns that. For some reason the string functions aren't very well documented in blueprints like these functions have been around since Unreal 4.0 but you hover over them and they still don't tell you what they do which is very inconvenient when you're working with strings so you kind of have to guess what you're doing until you know what they do I believe I got that right though. So if we compile and play, and hit play, welcome back to this. Okay, so this is the instant text speed, so that's working. However, if we change our text speed to something like 0.05, compile, and play, nothing is happening. All right, what's going on? Debug our dialog, our consume text. Welcome back to. The oh, I know why. So that worked properly. All right, if we play play again, you'll notice that our consume text is now welcome back to this tutorial. So it got rid of the W, and our current text is now that W. So we're eating from our consume text and we're adding it to our current text. So the reason nothing happened after that is because we forgot to go back to this delay. So once we finish um, getting the first character in our consume text and giving it to our current text, we have to go back to this delay wait again and repeat the process until our consume text is gone. So let's drag this into our delay and this doesn't look very good right now so let's add some reroute nodes. Drag off here, add reroute node, uh, let's add another reroute node. Here we go. That looks a little better. Compile, save, play it now. Welcome back to this tutorial. Click, have you made a visual novel before? Now there is a problem with this. If we hit play and we click before finish the typing, it's just going to move on because we never actually check to see if we finished typing or not. In order to check that, we're going to need another variable. This is going to be another string. We'll call this target text. And when we set our variables up here for our consumer text and current text, let's also set our target text to be what well what we want our text to be. Same with when we have a instant type speed, because otherwise what will happen is we're gonna check to see if our current text get target text, get current text. We're going to check to see if our current text does not equal the target text. Or actually, we want to check if it is equal to our target text. And if it is, then we can move on. Otherwise, what we're going to do 
is set our current text to be our target text. So we're just going to finish typing whenever we click on to click to continue if it hasn't finished typing yet. So our dialog text, get dialog text, set text, like that. Hit play again, welcome back to the tutorial. Now if we click, you'll notice that it finished typing right away. However, it kept on adding from a consume text to our t uh, current text. Also, I forgot to mention, um, shit, wait, no, uh, text speed, bring this back to zero. Compile, save, play, click on it, and actually, that worked that one instance because our current text and our target text aren't equal to anything. However, in a normal situation, what we what we would also need to do is set our current text and set our target text in our instant type speed. Otherwise, they're not going to be equal to each other when we click to continue, and it's going to go through here instead of continue on to choose the next option. So we have to set these to be our current and target text. Let's move this over. Uh, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Alright, back to the issue of our text continuing to, sorry, make this text speed not zero. Back to the issue of when we click, it adds, it sets our current text to be our target text right away, but then it continues consuming our tar our consuming text. So instead of immediately just going to our delay and assuming we're going to keep on adding from our consume text to our target text, we are going to check to see if our, let's move this, if our current text does not equal our target text, in that case, we um, well consume our t our consume text. So we're going to do a branch before the delay and after it. In case you click on the click to continue while it's delaying. So over here, we also need a branch. And this reroute node is instead going to go to this branch, like that. Compile, save, hit play, click, and it finishes typing by itself and doesn't keep typing. Yes, excellent. Alright, so that'll do it to make our text type itself out. The In the next video, we are going to be converting it from using the normal text uh, widget to using a rich text block which is going to be a lot more complicated than it is right now because this is actually very fairly simple and that's gonna take a while and I'm probably gonna mess up so I'm gonna move that to the next video instead of this one so that I can re-record as many times as necessary also in video 3 I believe I mentioned that I was going to talk about this line height percentage, but I never actually did for some reason. All this does is it increases the space in between our lines. You can set that to be, to be whatever you want, I set that to be 1. Compile, save. I think that'll do it for this video. Um, yeah, hopefully that helped and I'll see you in the next video.